Inside Science TV. For some people, folding paper into shapes is just that. But to this PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University, origami is so much more. I really love doing origami, uh, and one of the things that I wanted to do is to see my origami models come to life and, you know, fly. And that's exactly what she did. So what I did is I took a photograph of an origami crane that I made, and I narrated a story of it taking off uh, from my hand and flying away into the distance. Natasha helped develop a photo editing tool that can take an object from a typical photograph and allows users to flip it, turn it, and move it any which way they want. Our software uses 3D models to infer the back of the object, basically the hidden geometry, the hidden appearance, and even the illumination that uh, creates shadows as the object would move around in the space of the image. The software uses the geometry and appearances from stock 3D models available on the internet to fill in the missing parts of an object in a photo, like this chair. Virtually any photograph can come to life. This is an original photo. Watch the taxi cab become a moving object. This is more than just photoshopping an image. Just like in real life, we handle objects, lifting, turning, knocking things over. This amazing technology is almost like manipulating objects in the real world, animating an object in an otherwise still photo. To me, it's just the capability to be able to tell a new story, something that uh, you would not have been able to uh, do just by using a camera alone. The software isn't ready yet for consumers, but Natasha is having fun with it until it is. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.